Hey everyone, it's Meg. First of all, I just want to give a shout out to the sponsor of this video, Telltale. Thank you so much, Telltale. I know I can speak on behalf of my entire community that we love your games and this is just the coolest thing in the world. So thank you. I know it's been a while since we've done one of these kind of talky talk videos, but I feel like the subject matter definitely deserves it. Without further ado, I was invited to a preview event of the Expanse A Telltale series. So exciting. So if you know me, you know that this is just the most magical thing ever. I am reacting to The Expanse over on the Reaction Channel and that show grabbed me from episode one. It's just so well written. And I'll talk a little bit more about that and the event itself. But first, I just want to give you my thoughts on the game. Overall, I loved what I played. The story focuses on Captain Drummer, and it was just so amazing to see a femme queer protagonist, and she just has so many facets to her personality. She's such an amazing character, and I'm so glad that they ended up focusing on her. I'm only on season two of The Expanse, so I can't speak on, you know, what happens with her character later on. But just from what I've seen, they really chose an amazing character. I was just so pleasantly surprised with all the different ways that you could respond as drummer. Kind of a cheap shot, though. If it was a cheap shot, I would have smashed your brittle belter bones against the ceiling. It was even just like small dialogue choices and I would find myself pausing because I really wanted to consider how she would respond. Like if I wanted her to express anger or be quick to forgive or give a sassy comment or be funny. Like It looks like any other moon, pale and lumpy. Don't you talk about her like that. It just felt like every little thing mattered. It's definitely within the fashion of a Telltale game. Especially with this one, maybe it's because I was just extremely invested in her character from the get-go. I just was like, hmm, how do I want to respond? Maybe they were looking for something big and couldn't find it. Makes sense. Especially if they thought other people might come looking. Also, I'm still not sure if what I played, I, I stand by the choice that I made. I know there's no correct choices in these types of games, but I immediately wanted to play it over and make the opposite decisions to see what would happen simply because it was just so intriguing. Anderson Dawes is a gangster and a killer. It's not hard to piss off a man like that. Well, his loss is my game. I could not stop exploring. Like I played for an hour and a half. I was the last one out of the room <laughs> because I was just exploring space. I was exploring the ship. It's such a cool environment. Every time we exit this airlock, I pray that we'll return with our lives. Unfortunately, that's all we've been returning with so far. I, I do take my time with games, but I've never been much of an explorer. But with this, I was like, okay, there are probably secrets hidden everywhere. And especially seeing planets right in front of you and being able to just openly explore in your zero G suit. It was just so cool. Also, as someone who has struggled with zero G in space games, I felt no motion sickness with this, which is something that I, I was worried about. There were also elements I've never encountered before. Being able to stand on the walls and have the camera follow you naturally was just jaw dropping for me. I definitely think we're in this new age of video games and I love that it doesn't make me sick because I've had to quit games before because it's just too topsy-turvy like I would didn't I would not do well in space with this game I really expected it to be story and dialogue focused which it was but I was pleasantly surprised with all the gameplay elements I really did like the QTEs they're nerve-wracking but they felt very fluid and intuitive for some reason i've only played the walking dead season one and two but this just felt very open lots of different things you can do and ways you can go about it and everything's important 
The object details and descriptions were so engaging. Y'all know me. I love to read the database and read every little thing I find, but especially with this, <laughs> whether it was uh, like a drawing or a poster or a letter, you know, going through your crewmates cabins in their rooms, which is probably illegal, but I wanted to <laughs> and learning more about them. Like I learned so much about the crewmates in true expanse fashion. I cared about my crewmates from the beginning, but one of my favorite pieces was a childhood drawing on drummer's mirror. It gave so much insight into her character because she has such a hard exterior and she's so badass. I loved seeing her inner child and that was one of my favorite things. And again, and the side characters have rich personalities if you're willing to talk to them and get to know them, figure out what they like. It just made my heart so happy to bring back presents for my crew. There's not much else I can say. I'm not going to spoil any major story elements. I'm so excited to like show you ultimately what I chose and to play this alongside you guys as it comes out. To talk a little bit about the event, it was just one of the best experiences of my life. On the actual day, as soon as I walked in, I was met with suits from the actual show, as well as props, music, and it was like the perfect space ambiance. Of course, I, I got a little emotional because it felt like kismet for me just to be watching the show over in the reaction channel. And then, you know, I played The Walking Dead, Telltale. It was just such a cool moment for me. This is my passion. It was just, it was amazing. The devs were there and they seemed to really care about their game and us enjoying it. And they wanted to do justice to the show. They were talking about being inspired by the cinematography of the show. They just really have a lot of respect for it. And they've spent so much time and you could tell that they cared. And to see them as real people and, and see them in person, it was just amazing. And they, they really are good people. The whole event was just like so well organized. I felt so valued and appreciated. And sometimes that can be a problem with creators just being kind of taken advantage of. <laughs> I've heard some horror stories about certain events where creators were invited and then just brushed off. So I'm just extremely grateful that this happened and that I got to go. That's so cool. And if you saw the pictures, I did meet up with a lot of YouTube friends. We went out to eat together and we hung out. It was so fun. We became fast friends. I love those girls so much. <laughs> <laughs> and that was just also an experience that I'm so grateful for. And I'm so thankful that they brought us together because those are my girls. Those are my YouTube girls. So I hope this could give you some insight. I highly recommend getting this game as soon as it comes out. I would love to hear your thoughts and what you're most excited for and, you know, answer whatever questions you have. These are just things I focus on in a game and what popped out to me. So I hope that gave you more insight. I don't know. I kind of just blab, you know, but I hope you all enjoyed this video. <laughs> Let me know if you want more talky talk videos. You're the best. Thank you so much for supporting me on this channel and the reaction channel, because this is just the best life. And the fact that I could even go to this is because of you all. It's because of this community. You are so supportive and lovely. And I'm just so grateful for you. I'm so grateful for you. Okay. Well, that's all. Let me know what you think. <laughs> I love you. Bye.